In this video, we will be reviewing Project Medi's phlebotomy training arm. My name is Hillary and I'm a master's prepared registered nurse and I strongly endorse Project Medi's phlebotomy training arm kit. As reviewed in the previous video, we go over the contents of Project Medi's training arm kit, which does include this high quality training arm, two sets of IV tubing, tourniquets, gloves, syringes with straight needles, gauze, cotton, and a blue absorbent pad, as well as the alcohol swabs. It's important to note that students will need to provide or have access to the following for training purposes. Various gauge needles, butterfly needles, blood draw tubes, vacuum containers, a small basin, and red food coloring or dye. So let's begin the setup of the IV tubing itself and prepare the training arm for venipuncture. So once you've assembled your workforce by setting up your blue absorbent pad, you can prepare your fake blood. So all I did for that was mix some red food dye and water in a bowl, stirred that around, and we're ready to prepare our reservoir chamber and tubing. The IV stand that's included in Project Medi's kit is adjustable, but you will just need to assemble that by screwing um, the washer and the nut to the base. It's very simple. You're gonna have the reservoir container that I've already pre-filled for demonstration purposes. This is a lid that you wanna make sure is securely closed prior to um, opening the outflow roller clamp to prevent any spills. Project Medi's IV tubing comes with this nice handle. So again, you just wanna ensure that the lid is completely secure prior to attaching the handle to the cross arm of the IV stand. For demonstration purposes, we will be exclusively referring to the outflow tubing. Uh, there's also a roller clamp um, here. And then you do have this inflow tubing with an IV spike that would get attached to an IV bag, but we won't be using it in today's video. So you wanna just ensure that the roller clamp is closed for the inflow tubing. And then we can again attach the handle to our cross arm. So when you open the packaging, uh, this is actually gonna be connected to a butterfly needle. So you just wanna unscrew that from the lure lock mechanism there and set the butterfly needle to the side. Once we have filled the reservoir container about halfway to two thirds full with the fake blood, we can squeeze the drip chamber two to three times and fill that about halfway. Take note that the arm itself does have two sets of tubing that we wanna ensure are clamped closed. So to start, we'll have those clamps closed off and the basin's ready to go. So we wanna then prime the IV tubing itself and free it of any air bubbles. So we're gonna go ahead and once we have the roller clamp open, we're gonna have the tubing ready for the basin. Open that up, we're using gravity to allow the, the uh, free flow of the blood through the tubing. For demonstration purposes, I've already went ahead and pre-primed this and we are free of air bubbles. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the roller clamp. You wanna then attach a connector piece to one of the arms tubings. So we've got the connector piece that we're just going to take that end and easily just secure that in there. And we're gonna take the end of the tubing with the lure lock and that's just going to securely screw right in there. So now that we have the connector piece attached to the outflow tubing, we can go ahead and prime the training arm. So you wanna have the exit tubing of the arm in the basin again to prevent any spills. So we're gonna to wanna to open the roller clamp and open the two clamps of the IV arm itself. And we're gonna notice that it's continuing to prime through the arm to prepare it for venipuncture. Keep in mind at this step, you can adjust the height of the IV stand by simply just unscrewing the lever Increasing the height will just help to speed up the flow of, of the blood because we are using gravity to help us with that. So once we have the IV arms tubings prepped, primed, and ready to go, we can close the clamps 
and the roller clamp down here. And our arm is now ready for venipuncture. To clean out the reservoir container so you can use this multiple times, you would just drain the blood, um, run water through it, run water through the tubing, allow the tubing to dry completely, keeping in mind that if you're using smaller gauge needles for venipuncture, you're gonna get more use out of the arm. You wanna change locations of venipuncture as well, and you can get hundreds if not thousands of sticks out of this arm. Once you have the water run through and it's all clean and dry, you can safely package it back up. Please reference our next video for lab draws and venipuncture using the Project Betty simulation training arm.